welcome to this week's lesson of Sunday School. This lesson is called The Baby and the Bush. Hmm, I wonder what that story is in the Bible. Can you guess? Well, before we get started, can you go and grab two things for me? One is your favorite stuffed toy and two, a basket. Can you go grab those two things? Because we're gonna play a special game. All right, but before we do, we're gonna read the story and we've got Laura reading our story again. So go grab your things and then come back and let's read the story together. Today we are going to read a story called A Baby and a Bush. Egypt was filled with Israelites the new pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites would become too powerful, so he made them slaves and treated them very badly. So we have the new pharaoh. He's laughing at the Israelites while they're working really hard. Pharaoh ordered that all baby Israelite boys had to be killed one woman put her baby in a basket and hid him by the river's edge. His sister watched him. So here we have a mother. She's put her precious baby in this little basket on the river. And the sister is watching out for him. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. So here we have the basket and they've taken the baby out. She's going to keep him. And look, here's his sister watching from the reeds. Moses grew up. One day he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fled to Midian and he was a shepherd for 40 years. So here we have the Egyptian soldiers. Mm, one of them's dead. And the Israelite slaves. Who are they pointing to? That's right, Moses. So he's running away. Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. So here we have Moses. He's looking after his sheep. And what's this? It's a bush on fire, but it's not burning up. It's God speaking to Moses. I can't, Moses cried. I'll help you, God promised. Throw down your staff. Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. So here we have Moses. He's holding his staff. And he throws it down. Hmm? Turns into a snake. What happens when he picks it up again? It's a staff again. That's God showing him some signs. Put your hand in your cloak, God said. Moses did, and he looked. It was covered with disease. When he did it again, it was healed. Show Pharaoh that, God said. So he put his hand in his cloak. His hand comes out all sick. When he puts it back in, it comes out healed. I'm not a good speaker, said Moses. I'll give you the words, God said. Your brother Aaron will help you. So Moses went to tell Pharaoh to set the Israelites free. So here's Moses, he's going to obey what God's asking him to do. And that's the end of our story. But before we go, we've got another quick question to see if you guys were all listening. God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. True or false? Is God into helping us? True. 
Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoy the rest of the lesson. You got your teddy? I've got my teddy. And I've got baby Charlotte. She's going to act as baby Moses today. Thanks, Charlotte. So, baby Moses in the story was getting a little bit loud. So the mum had to put the baby inside a basket. So put your baby inside the basket. Here's my basket. And Teddy in. Here's my bigger basket because baby Moses is big. All right. And then the mum put the baby in the water. So start your basket going down the river. Swish, swish, swish. And then, oh, no. I can see a crocodile. <gasps> Quick, turn your basket to the right. You want to miss the crocodile? Phew. Miss the crocodile. And then I can see a wave coming. All right, everyone lift up your baskets. Go over the wave, over the wave. Oh, that's good. All right, now the basket starts to go into the Pharaoh's palace. So it's starting to drift towards the Pharaoh's palace. There we go. And stop. And then the princess comes and sees the baby. So everyone pick up your baby. And the princess said, you're such a beautiful baby and I want to keep you. And now everyone can give their baby a nice big hug. Oh. Nice hug. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoyed the baby Moses. Say bye. Okay, so before we start our craft today, I have a container with some water in it. All right, so baby Moses floated along the Nile River. Do you remember in the story? So we're going to make a craft, but first of all, we're going to make sure that it can float. All right, here's going to be Moses' basket. So this is a little cupcake holder, and we're going to, in the craft, put baby Moses inside. So we want to make sure it floats. Do you think it's going to float, or do you think it's going to sink to the bottom? Can we find out? Okay, we're going to put it on the water. <gasps> Yay, it floats. Can you see that? It's floating on the water. Even if the waves come, the Moses basket is nice and safe. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side of our craft. And we just need to cut out a little circle like this out of paper. And you can put the little face of baby Moses in there if you like. I'm just going to put a cotton roll to make it a little bit more fun. make up a river. down the river in the basket. Oh, don't fall out, baby Moses. Put baby Moses back in. Make sure he's nice and safe. Okay, now we have a really exciting video for you. It was read by Benjamin Hashem, Jed Hashem, and also narrated by me. So I hope you enjoy. Moses and the burning bush. 
Moses wonders too about the Hebrew slaves still struggling under the whips of the Egyptian rulers. One day, he looks up to see a strange sight on the Mount of Sinai. A bush on fire, yet it's not burning up. He steps closer and then stops. A voice from the fiery bush calls out, Moses! I'm here! Once again, Moses starts towards the bush, but the same voice warns him. Don't come any nearer. Take off your shoes because you are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your father and the God of your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Moses hides his face in fear at being addressed by the one true God. I have seen my people suffer in Egypt and I have come down to save them. I want you to bring them up out of the land. Then you will lead them to a new home, a land flowing with milk and honey. Now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh. Who am I to speak to Pharaoh of Egypt? Who am I to lead the Hebrews? I am not a leader. I am your leader and I will be with you. Believe me that you and the Israelites will come to worship me on this very mountain. I am not a prophet or a priest. What if they ask me your name? I am who I am and I will perform my wonders against the Egyptians. Okay kids, that's it for this lesson today. I hope you enjoyed and remember that God always protects us and he cares for us so much. Even if you're little baby Moses in the basket or if you're all alone in the mountains like Moses was at the end, God is with us. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.